সবাই অন করো হোল অফ দ্য স্টুডেন্ট অন ওই কি হয় না সবাই অন করো ক্যামেরাটা সবাই রেকর্ডিং হবে প্লিজ 1 মিনিট 2 মিনিট 1 মিনিটের জন্য জাস্ট 1 মিনিট রেকর্ডিং হবে তারপর অফ করে দেবে দেখো রেকর্ডিং হচ্ছে আগে রেকর্ডিং ছিল না অপশন স্যার রেকর্ড হয়ে যাবে তোমরা করতে পারবে না কিন্তু রেকর্ডিং তো তোমার কাছে চলে যাবে পরে পরে সবার মেইল আইডি দেওয়া থাকবে ঠিক আছে ওটাই ভালো হবে স্যার অন করব না স্যার কেউ অন করছে না আপনি আমরা দুজনই করব হ্যালো ঠিক আছে আর কেউ নেই তো হ্যালো কেউ আসলে একটু অ্যাডমিট করে নেবেন স্যার সেটা তো হবে সবাই অন করেছিল না মনে হচ্ছে স্যার কেন স্যার সবাই আমি আর সোমনাথ করেছিলাম আর কেউ করেনি কে করেনি দারুন <laughs> দারুন <laughs> করেছে সব তাহলে শুরু করতে হবে সময় চলে যাচ্ছে অনেক হ্যালো হ্যাঁ স্যার শুরু করুন 22 আর কেউ আসবে না তো মির্জা হ্যালো স্যার প্রীতম আছে জয়েন জয়েন করছে কিন্তু জয়েন করলে আসবে তো অপশন রেহানাজ ক্যামেরা অন করছে না কেন তারপরে তো বন্ধ করে দেবে কিছুক্ষণ পরে যখন ক্লাস টা স্টার্ট করবে বন্ধ করে দেবে ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল স্টেট কাউন্সিল অফ টেকনিক্যাল এডুকেশন সবুজ রায় আউটসাইড ওয়েস্ট বেঙ্গল সবাই শুনতে পাচ্ছে তো হ্যাঁ স্যার কারে কারে শুনতে পাচ্ছে না হাত তোলো সবাই সবাই শুনতে পাচ্ছে ঠিক আছে তাহলে স্টার্ট দা আচ্ছা লাস্ট ক্লাস উই ডিসকাস अबाउट দা বায়ো ট্রান্সফরমেশন হ্যাঁ বায়ো ট্রান্সফরমেশন ওই পার্ট 2 টা দেখো পার্ট 1 এ বলে দিয়েছি যদি এনি কোনো কোশ্চেন থাকে তাহলে বলো 
আর যদি পার্ট টুটা আমি আবার রেকর্ডিং করে পাঠিয়ে দেবো কিন্তু আজকে এক্সক্রিয়েশনটা পড়িয়ে দিচ্ছি ঠিক আছে হ্যালো বায় ট্রান্সফরমেশনের দুটো পার্ট আছে ঠিক আছে স্যার ফেজ 1 এন্ড ফেজ 2 ঠিক আছে ফেজ 1 অলরেডি ডিসকাস এন্ড ইট ইজ আপলোডেড ইন দা ইউটিউব এন্ড অ্যানাদার পার্ট টু সেকেন্ড পার্ট ফেজ 2 আই আপলোডেড ইন দা ইউটিউব অলসো মানে নেক্সট ক্লাস আফটার দ্যাট আই ডিসকাস উইথ ইউ দা নেক্সট ক্লাস বাট টুডে আই ডিসকাস উইথ দা এক্সক্রিয়েশন অফ দা ড্রাগ ওকে হ্যালো ঠিক আছে ওটা পড়েছো দেখতে পাচ্ছ হ্যালো হ্যাঁ স্যার ওকে ভেরি গুড চলো নেক্সট স্টার্ট দা টুডে স্ক্রাচ গুড মর্নিং এভরিবডি অ্যান্ড মাই স্টুডেন্টস টুডে উই ডিসকাস অ্যাবাউট দ্য লাস্ট টপিক অফ দি ফার্মাকো কাইনেটিক্স দ্য এক্সক্রিয়েশন অফ দ্য ড্রাগস আফটার দ্য ড্রাগ অ্যাবজর্পশন দেন ইট উইল বি ডিস্ট্রিবিউটেড ইন দ্য থ্রু আউট দ্য অর্গান ইন দ্য প্লাজমা আফটার ইট উইল বি বাই ট্রান্সফার ঠিক আছে কিন্তু নেক্সট আর যারা আসবে এখন জয়েন করা যাবে না সময় লাগবে চলো এক্সক্রিয়েশন অফ দ্য ড্রাগ জাস্ট দিস ইজ দ্য লাস্ট পার্ট অফ দ্য ফার্মাকো কাইনেটিক্স জাস্ট অ্যাবজর্পশন ডিস্ট্রিবিউশন মেটাবলিজম অ্যান্ড এক্সক্রিয়েশন হোয়েন দ্য ড্রাগ আফটার দ্য অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেশন বাই থ্রু দি এনি মিনস বাই দ্য ওরালি অর এ প্যারেন্টালি অর এনি আদার মিনস ইট উইল বি অ্যাবজর্ব in the favorable condition after that it will be distributed throughout the body or the special part of the body or the organs then it will be metabolized in the liver and other organ and after the metabolized and unchanged or free drug will be excreted through the kidney or other than the kidney so today we discuss about the excretion of the drugs so these are the schematic diagram how how it will be drug will be administered first of all the oral or the rectum through gi tract then goes through the plasma and the percutaneous that means through kins and goes through the plasma or vice versa and the intravenous that will be directly into the plasma and intramuscular muscle and the brain muscle through plasma and intrathecal that means csf to brain brain to plasma or vice versa it is a totally reversible procedure by which the drug will be excreted and the another is the inhalation in in the inhalation technique the lungs will be ex- lungs and goes to the plasma or vice versa after that the absorption then it will be distributed after the gut absorption the bile and the liver the portal system and the metabolites and the plasma then goes to the pl- placenta and goes to the fetus or vice versa that means and another is the lungs to expand in the air expand in the air the in case of lungs we are know the oxygen we are taken then it is formation of after the metabolize metabolism it will form carbon dioxide it will be ex- expired air and the, in case of plasma also then plasma to breast and the sweat gland also in the form of milk or the sweat glass sweat so it and another the most of the most part of the metabolized and the non metabolized drugs are excreted through the kidney or in the form of urine and some part of it is directly got through the feces some those drug are not absorbed they are directly excreted through the feces so 
in case of so many organ are involved for the excretion or the elimination technique by the urine by the feces by the milk and the sweat on the expiry gases by the different organ like kidney urine and kidney pancreas sweat gland and the So it gland. Next, the excretion of the drug. What are the defined definition of the excretion of the drug and how to the metabolism of excretion of the drugs? Excretion is defined as the process whereby the drug and the metabolites are irreversibly transferred, not irreversibly. It is irreversibly re transferred from the intestinal to external. Sorry, internal to external environment. Through the renal or the non-renal route. That means the drugs internal to external environment. First of all, you come into the inside the body, then it is excreted through the external environment through the renal. The renal means that means kidney or by the non-renal part. That means other than the kidney, by the liver, by the lungs, or by the skin, they are excreted. And the excretion of the unchanged or intact drug is needed to the termination of its the pharmacological action and the principal organ of the excretion are kidney but other organ also sometimes uh, simultaneously help for the excretion sometimes the sweat gland the skin is the main organ to excretion some products and the pancreas also the bile so many organs also help the excretion and even the unchanged or unabsorbed drug they are excreted through the feces by the rectum and the type of excretion in case of number one the renal excretion this is the main part of the excretion another is a non-renal excretion in under this non-renal excretion the biliary excretion pulmonary excretion salivary excretion memory excretion skin and dermal excretion gastrointestinal excretion and genital excretion so many different types of non-renal excretion the major around 82 85 percent Drug will be excreted through the renal excretion, but non-renal excretion and the others, but the specific drugs are excreted on the specific system. The biliary, that means by the liver or the pancreatic duct, and the pulmonary, that means the, by the lungs, salivary secretion, or by the mammary secretion through the milk and the skin and the dermal secretion to the sweat gland, and the gastrointestinal secretion, that means in the feces and the genital excretion. Some drugs will be excreted in the genital organ also. Say for example, in the <coughs> this is the longitudinal section of the kidney because kidney is the one of the most important organ for the excretion. Now, what is the bigger structure? The basically they are consist of the four, uh, six organelles like the glomerulus, renal vein, renal pelvis, and rectal artery, renal arteries, and the ureter. Ultimately, this ureter one actually two kin to pair of kidney, mean separate kidney, and the they are. The glomerulus are the filter media where the filtration will be takes place and how it will be filtered and what type of drugs will be filtered and what are the shapes and the size of the drugs that can depend upon the physical chemical parameter of the drugs and that are excreted in the urine through the glomerulus. So these are the anatomy of the nephron because the nephron of the unit of the kidney, unimolecular substances of nephron is the of kidney is the nephron and nephron just like a, a number of nephron in the one kidney and they are having the some bowman capsule they are and the efferent arteries and the, another efferent artery they are just a pressure created in the junction of the bowman capsule or glomerular filtration efferent arteries and finally they go to the collecting tissue to uterus to urinary bladder another is the proximal tubules and the distal tubules and the loop of henley so because in this case, not only the excretion, sometimes the drug will be reabsorbed also. Sometimes some proteins or the glucose is uh, filtrated, but the distal part or the proximal tubules or the loop of Henle can reabsorb this material. That's why this, uh, this type of structure, loop of Henle and distal and, and proximal part of the proximal tubules also, because for the reabsorption. Otherwise, it will be immediately goes out to the ureter through uh, urinary bladder and ultimately excreted so the important uh, nutrients like carbohydrate fat protein all are or minerals that can be excreted 
sometimes minerals will be excreted the extra minerals but the other important nutrient like amino acid or glucose or fatty acid glycerol they are not excreted that's why they are the so unique system to reabsorb the immediate filtered filtered substances first of all the glomerular filtration they are there three types of basically the filtration one the glomerular filtration tubular secretion and active transport the glomerular filtration it is not a non selective but the unidirectional process and ionized unionized drug are filtered except those are the those are bounded to the plasma protein that means in that it is a non selective procedure by the glomerular filtration that means in that case the drug metabolize after the metabolize there goes to the efferent arteries to the glomerulus and then the glomerulus this ionized or unionized drug are filtered and except those are that are the bound to the plasma protein and the driving force there is some pressure will be created in the glomerular junction and the driving force gf it is the hydrostatic pressure of the blood flowing through the capillary we are know that in the case of glomerular filtration when the glomerulus the efferent artery will produce some pressure and the efferent artery there less pressure so there is a the pressure difference so pressure drop will be produced ultimately the filtration will be occurred because in case of filtration you can apply the force just that forces can filtrate the materials and glomerular filtration rate this is the grf and the glomerular filtration rate this is this is this is one of the most key factor and out of 25% of the cardiac output obviously this cardiac output is a uh, affect the filter rate of filtration if the cardiac output is higher then the oh. 25% of the cardiac output and 1.2 Two liter of blood per minute that goes to the kidney via the renal artery, and only ten percent to ten percent or one twenty to one thirty mL per minute is the filtration filtered through the glomeruli. So this rate being called the glomerular filtration rate, around twenty five percent cardiac output, and the GRF GR GFR glomerular filtration rate, as for example the insulin, heparin, and the dextran, which are the Affect the glomerular filtration rate. Active tubular secretion. In this, this is the manual uh, mainly occurred in the proximal tubules. It is the carrier mediated transport process and which require the energy for the transportation of component against the concentration gradient. And the two secretion mechanism are identified. One is the system for the secretion of the organic acids or anionic as for example penicillin salicylate and the system of organic base and the one is the organic acid which are secreted in this mechanism by which like penicillin because penicillin is the penicillinic acid and the salicylate is the salicylic acid that's why that the organic acid which are anion that can be see by this system which can can be excreted and system for the organic bases or cation cation and the bases which are excreted by this Second mechanism like morphine. Morphine is the basic drugs, and the meclanamide, methoxanamide, and the active secretion of an affected by the change in the pH and the protein binding also. And the drug undergoes the active secretion have the secretion rate value greater than the normal GFR. As for example, the drug undergoes the active secretion have a greater excretion rate than the GFR glomerular filtration rate like penicillin. So penicillin is better. By the active tubular secretion than the G glomerular filtration rate. Another is the tubular reabsorption. We can see the there is a proximal tubules and the distal tubules. It is occurs after the glomerular filtration of the drugs. That the if some substances is needed for the body and what is required for the body, it can takes place of all along the renal tubules and reabsorption of the drug indicate when. The excretion rate value are less than the GRF, like 130 mL mL per minute. As for example, glucose. I told previously, glucose and amino acid. If 
it is filtered because of the high pressure it will be filtered after it will be reabsorbed by the tubular reabsorption method so t in the tubular reabsorb uh, method basically drug will be the reabsorb if it is needed or drug or the other nutrient which is required for the body that type of substances can be reabsorbed by the renal uh, renal tubular reabsorption and the tr tubular reabsorption can be active or by the passive passive process just just like uh, the previous the active transport system and the passive transport system by which you can the reabsorb by the drugs or other substances and the reabsorption results each increase in the half life of the drug also suppose say for say for one drugs which are absorbed after absorption then distribution then it will absorption then the metabolism it will be takes place and after that the half life of the drug will be absorbed because after reabsorption the drug concentration will be increases drug concentration will be increases drug concentration will be increases the reabsorption in that case the active transport suppose one drug will be administered through the body suppose the concent uh, suppose 500 mg after that it will be goes after 20 uh, half an hour or to two hours it will be 50% but after some times when after the reabsorption will be takes place this 250 that mean half of the 500 mg then again rise to the 250 so their half life will be increases what do you mean by the t half t half means the time concentration time required for the half 50% concentration of the drug so initially the half of the concentration will be occur at certain times but after reabsorption the concentration immediately rise up so their t half will be increases in that procedure by the tubular reabsorption in the active tubular or the two types of tubular reabsorption one is the active tubular reabsorption another is the passive tubular reabsorption in the active tubular reabsorption it common seen in the commonly seen in the endogenous substances or in the nutrient that are body needed to the <coughs> conjure that is the active tubular system basically the endogenous substances and the nutrients and the, as for example the electrolytes glucose and the vitamins they are to consume as for example electrolytes and the glucose and the vitamins by the active tubular system active, active tubular reabsorption system because these are the high molecular weight substances they are transported to the active transporter system that's why it is called the active tubular reabsorption another is the passive tubular reabsorption it is the common of the many exogenous substances here is the endogenous substances but the exogenous substances including the drugs that means that in this case the passive reabsorption will be takes place the driving force of the concentration gradient in which due to the reabsorption of the water sodium and the inorganic ions if a drug is neither excreted or reabsorbed in the concentration in urine will be 100 times that of the free drug in the plasma concentration hello सोडियम इनऑर्गेनिक सल्ट इफ द ड्रग इज नाइदर एक्सक्रिएटेड or reabsorb in its concentration the urine will be 100 times that of the free drug in the plasma that is the depend on the ph of the urine it is varies from 4.5 to 7.5 basically it is depend upon the diet and drug intake and the pathophysiology of the patient so they see the urine they mean in case of some infection the acidic ph of the urine generally the urine ph the basic ph in normal condition but in case of disease condition that will be decrease uh, decreases the acidic ph that means in case of infection if you take a one ph paper you, you collect your urine and dip into the ph paper their acid they are the, your urine will be ph in acidic in case of acetazolamide it is anti diuretic drugs acetazolamide 
that are an antacid produce the alkaline urine while the ascorbic acid takes it acid because the ascorbic acid is acidic drug which produce the acidic ph acid azelamide and antacid is a basic drug they produce the urine ph in the basic and at the ph of the urine that will effect on the tubular reabsorption also in case of infection in which iv infusion of sodium and ammonium chloride used in the treatment of the acid base imbalance shows the alteration of the urine ph actually the electrolytes can change the ph also you are already know in the first year classes in the inorganic chemistry and relative amount of the ionized and unionized drug in the urine at the particular ph and the percentage of the drug ionized that the at, at this ph can be given by the henderson hasselbach equation we can see in the inorganic first year the what is the henderson hasselbach the, the buffer system and the ph and the buffer uh, buffer solution can be prepared by the henderson hasselbach equations and the henderson hasselbach equation for the weak acid the ph equal to pka plus log versus ionized and divided by ionized unionized salt ph means the negative logarithm of hydrogen and concentration and pk is the salt of acidic and pk b is the salt of base total pk and pk b equal to 14 the ph p that means ph equal to in case of weak acid weak acidic type of drugs their ph equal to pk equal to log ionized by the unionized salt there you can i calculate the ph of the drugs and what are the excretion rate you can under, uh, under uh, estimated so percentage of ionization equal to 10 ph minus pka 1 plus 10 ph minus pka into 100 next class we discuss about thoroughly and henderson hasselbach in case of for the weak base just you can first equation you remember it ph equal to pka a i think <laughs> it will be wrong pk a no write down need pkb pkb plus log ionized by ionized and our percentage of drug ionized 10 ph minus pk 1 plus 10 ph minus pk into 100 what are the physiological factors the factors affecting the renal excretion first of all the physico chemical properties of the drug this is the most important factors physico if the drug is the physical if the drug is acidic weak acidic or basic if the acidic drug then the urine ph is acidic the more excretion if the basic then the basic drug will be excreted if the urine concentration is the basic then the excretion will be higher so physico chem another is the ph condition the ph of the urine also uh, last uh, pre uh, in, the, in the previous slide i told you the different types of ph in that condition the drug will be excreted and the blood flow to the kidney also if the blood flow of the kidney is higher then the excretion rate will be high because in the uh, high blood flow there will be the increase the blood um, high blood pressure in the glomerular filtration and the fil rate of filtration will be higher in case of biological factors some biological factor which affect the excretion rate and the drug interaction sometimes the drug one drug we administer their excretion will be uh, rate of excretion is one time but at the simultaneously you take some another drug that drug can inhibit the or alter the rate of excretion so in case of drug interaction some drug are interact with the other drugs and they form a complex formation say for tetracycline with the others drug also and so, uh, so many drugs are in presence of the other drugs their rate of excretion will be altered and also disease state disease state another is the in the disease state sometimes some drugs are excreted in the some rate of glomerular filtration rate or others excretion rate but in case of disease state their alteration of the excretion rate due to some diseases As obviously it is varies disease to disease and the drug to drug the non renal route of drug administration this is the first part which is the renal excretion by which the most of the drug are excreted through this mechanism and the other part which is excreted through the non excretion part of the non non renal tubular drug excretion the various route like biliary excretion that means pulmonary excretion salivary excretion mammary excretion mammary there is mammary gland skin or dermal excretion gastrointestinal excretion and genital excretion previously i told you then i 
talk to their in details in case of biliary excretion the bile juice is secreted by the hepatic cell of the liver and the flow is steady for 0.5 to 1 ml per minute it is important in the digestion and the absorption of fat of 0.9 percent of the bile acid is reabsorbed and from the intestine and transported back to the liver for the reabsorption and compound excreted by this route are the sodium potassium glucose bilirubin and glucuronides sucrose insulin mucoprotein etc the greater the polarity of polarity better the excretion the metabolites are more excreted in the bile than the parent drugs due to the increase the polarity because the polarity will be increases and that type of substances which is excreted through the biliary excretion nature of the biotransformation process in case of phase 2 and it is not discussed till now but this phase to basically the glucuronides the conjugation the reaction mainly the glucuronidation and the conjugation in the glutathione result in the metabolites to increase the density tendency of the biliary excretion so you can see the so you can see it the in case of excretion before excretion you thorough about the metabolism also this class is not yet done so after that it will be after the next class i discuss with the phase 2 reaction then it will be i think it will be clear if it is not clear at that time i think it will be clear at, after the discussion of the phase 2 inter the metabolism the drug are excreted in the bile and the let's say for example the chloramphenicol which is used at the typhoid fever the very common drug and the morphine all the basic drugs and the indomethacin which is the analgesic drug glutathione conjugate that is the larger molecular weight and so not be observed in the urine for a drug to be excreted in the bile must be have the polar groups like the C double H and C O H three, C H three. So basically, the when the drug are the high molecular substances and the polar group, they are excreted through the bile, excreted through the bile rather than the kidney. The comprehensive side uh, chlorophen chlorophen citrate and a evolution in the inducer in the completely removal from the body by the refuge. and the uh, enter hepatic circulation these are the liver bypass or the enter some drugs which are excreted by the glucuronides as a glutathione conjugates are the hydrolyzed by the intestinal and the bacterial enzymes so the parents drugs which are not reabsorbed and the reabsorbed drug are again carried to the liver for the resecretion via bile into the intestine this phenomena of the drug cycle between the intestine and the liver it is called the enterohepatic circulation enterohepatic circulation means those drug which are not secreted by the kidney that are reabsorbed by the kidney then it will be excreted through the hepatic duct or intestine that's why it is called it is called enterohepatic circulation the systemic circulation the blood circulation and the called blood gallbladder small intestine liver so these are called the enterohepatic circulation that means those drug are not directly excreted through the urine it will be reab after the reabsorption it will be excreted by the intestine or by the liver the enter hepatic circulation is is the important object conservation of the vitamin also some vitamin sometimes it will be excreted but that that cannot be excreted through the kidney that are reabsorbed and the folic acid which is very essential component of uh, the body and hormones this process result in the prolongation of the half lives of the drugs like ddt dithyl dichlor tetrachloromethane and the carboxylan and some drugs undergoing the ec are cardiac glycosides rifampicin chlorpromazin and the principal absorption onto the resin and the gi tract it is used to treat it the parasites poisoning by the promoting the fecal excretion that means those who that is this type of drug which are not excreted in the urine they are excreted by the enterohepatic circulation the others factors the efficacy of the drug excretion by the biliary system can be tested by a agent that is completely eliminated in the bile example the sulfobromophthalein the maker this marker is the excreted in the half of an half an hour in the intestine at the normal hepatic function and delay it is excretion indicates the hepatic and the biliary 
malfunction biliary clear biliary clearance the biliary excretion rate divided by the plasma concentration mane rate of biliary excretion divided by plasma concentration of the drugs the ability of the liver to excrete the drug in the bile is expressed by the biliary clearance that is called the biliary, biliary clearance the ability of the liver to excrete the drugs not the kidney that is called the biliary clearance but in case of another is the pulmonary excretion this is the gaseous and the volatile substance basically the general anesthetics such a general anesthetic halothen are the absorbed through the lungs by the simple diffusion and pulmonary blood flows and rate of the respiration and the solubility of the substances affect the pulmonary excretion into gases drug that are excreted but not metabolized alcohol which has the highly high solubility in the blood and tissue are excreted slowly by the lungs but the basically the volatile substances or gaseous mainly oxygen and carbon dioxide and the general anesthetic they are excreted through the pulmonary excretion not by the kidney or by the through the urine because they are lipid soluble substances and basically excreted through the respiratory system or pulmonary excretion another is the salivary secretion sometimes the salivary secretion the ph of the saliva varies from 5.8 to 8.4 i think it will be remember it all the ph condition i mean in case of biochemistry i told you uh, this is a very very important parameters you can remember it the what are the different ph on the different organ also 5.8 to 8.4 the unionized lipid soluble drugs unionized basically lipid soluble drug are unionized form and water soluble drug are the unionized ionized form so unionized lipid soluble drugs are the excreted and the passive passively the bitter after taste in the mouth of a patient is indicates indication of drug excreted and some basic drug inhibit the salivary secretion and are responsible of the mouth dryness and compound excreted in the saliva say for example caffeine phenytoin and theophylline caffeine is a cna stimulant which is present in the coffee and tea phenytoin it is a drug for the epilepsy for convulsion and theophylline for the respiratory tract infection or respiratory stimulant those type of drug actually caffeine theophylline are the same group of drugs or the 137 trimethyl xanthine and theophylline 17 dimethyl xanthine all are the same coming from the coffee or tea or basically the indole type of alkaloid these drug are excreted through the salivary secretion another is the mammary secretion the meal consists of the lactic secretion which is the rich in the fats and the protein 0.5 to 1 liter of milk is secreted per day in the lactating mother this excretion of the drug in the milk is the important as it it gain enter the breast feeding infants and the ph of the milk varies from 6.4 to 7.6 and free unionized and lipid soluble drugs differ passively and highly plasma bound drugs like digepam is less secreted in the milk since the milk contain the protein and the drug excreted can bind to it so in case of some drugs is excreted through the milk basically in case of the lactating mother and it is goes to the breastfeeding child also there is a problem of sometimes that mother taken this drug that is goes to the child and there is a problem unnecessary this type of drug is goes to the child and there is some problem also and the, if pharmacological effects are put the digepam also excreted the memory excretion amount of the drug excreted in the milk is less than 1% and the fractional consumed by the infant is too less to produce a toxic effect because 1% drug of the adult it is too much toxic to the infant because infant body weight is very less than the mother and the some potent drugs like barbiturate which is, or is, which is acts as a hypnotics but basically the sedative purposes and the morphine which is the analgesic may induce the toxicity also sometimes that's why in that case some drugs are restricted strictly restricted or it is called the contraindicated beta in that type of drug is contraindicated in the pregnancy and the lactating mother so be careful the doctors and the para, rmp also in case of pregnancy and the lactating mother the drug must be specific drug 
must be applied and better know the what are the excretion rate of if the drug is excreted through the milk there is a problem of that child and sometimes also teratogenicity also occur due to some drugs which is excreted through the mammary gland mammary secretion now the adverse effect discoloration of the teeth in case of tetracycline sometimes the mother has taken the tetracycline and that tetracycline is excreted in the mammary secretion and it is taken by the child ultimately the discoloration of the teeth with the tetracycline uh, with tetra uh, with tetracycline and the jaundice due to the interaction of the bilirubin with sulfonamides and nicotine is secreted in the milk from the mother who smoke so those type of mothers who, who smoke this nicotine is excreted in the form of milk and that nicotine is deposited in the child also and there is some problem also so in that case this type of so so lactating mother and pregnant mother never to smoke it is advised to you and the skin secretion skin secretion babu এটা কারেন্ট এটা পোড়া পোড়া গন্ধ করছে কোথায় হ্যাঁ কি হ্যাঁ দেখ হ্যালো দ্য এক্সক্রিয়েশন স্কিন এক্সক্রিয়েশন দ্য ড্রাগ আর এক্সক্রিয়েটেড থ্রু দ্য স্কিন ইন দ্য কোথা বার্নিং স্মেল আসছে দেখো কারেন্ট এর কারেন্ট নেই দেখছি স্কিন এর দ্য সোয়েট ফলোড বাই দ্য পিএইচ পার্টিশন হাইপোথিসিস বেসিক্যালি ইট ইজ ডিপেন্ড অন দ্য partition coefficient or the ph dependent excretion of the drug through the skin may lead to the urticaria dermatitis and compound like the benzoic acid salicylic acid alcohol heavy metals like lead mercury and arsenic are excreted through the sweat gland so some drugs are excreted through the sweat gland hello somnath hello yes sir bolo bolte bachche to स्किन ऑल्सो एंड द डर्माटाइटिस कम कंपाउंड लाइक द बेंजोइक एसिड एंड द सैलिसाइलिक एसिड एंड अदर्स अनदर इज द गैस्ट्रोइंटेस्टाइनल सिक्रेशन द सिक्रेशन ऑफ द ड्रग्स सो द जीआईटी यूजुअली ओकर्स आफ्टर द पैरेंटरल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन व्हाट आर सोलेबल एंड द आयनाइज्ड फॉर्म बोललाम ना इन द वाटर सोलेबल दैट इज आयनाइज्ड एंड लिपिड सोलेबल दिस इज द अनआयनाइज्ड फॉर्म द वीकली एसिडिक और बेसिक ड्रग आर एक्सक्रीटेड इन द जीआईटी गैस्ट्रोइंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक्ट as for example nicotine and quinine are excreted in the stomach so you can see in case of nicotine in case of ex, uh, lactating mother and it will be excreted in the also gi tract also nicotine and quinine quinine the medicine for the malaria are excreted in the stomach and the drug excreted in the gi tract are reabsorbed into the systemic circulation undergo the recycling so it is a chart given with the excretion pathway and transport ex mechanism by the drug excretion excreted route or the mechanism and the drug will be excreted number 1 in by through urine drug will be excreted by the gf glomerular filtration ads atr and prt there are active tubular secretion active tubular reabsorption and this free hydrophilic and unchanged drug and metabolites greater than molecular weight greater than less than 500 dalton and the bile it is active secretion by the process of active secretion like hydrophilic and unchanged drug metabolites and conjugate the molecular less than 500 and in case of lungs that is the passive division basically the oxygen gaseous substance volatile oil and general anesthetic and the blood tissue and insoluble drugs saliva passive diffusion and active transport drug like free or ionized or lipophilic drug and some polar drugs in case of milk passive diff by the mechanism of passive diffusion free ionized lipophilic drugs or basic drug sweats of the or by skin they basically the drug will be excreted through the passive diffusion free ionized lipophilic drugs intestine passive diffusion and water soluble and 
ionized form of drugs so you can chart you can remember it what type of drugs are excreted with the which method and what are the mechanism through which drug will be excreted next the concept of the clearance gondogol hai gach total body clearance it is defined as the sum of the individual clearance by the all eliminating organs it's called the total body clearance or total systemic clearance when total body that means the sum part of the body who is secreted some of drugs or the materials and ultimately the total clearance at a time or at a day the total body clearance equal to clearance of the liver plus clearance of the kidney clearance of the lungs and clearance of the x that means others any other method by which in clearance that will be is called the total body clearance the renal clearance first the most drug are clear through renal or kidney the major organ of the elimination of the most of the drug and the metabolites water soluble non volatile low molecular weight slowly metabolized drug by the liver are eliminated by the kidney and drug like gentamicin exclusively ex eliminated by the kidney and the basic functional unit of kidney involved the excretion is nephron actually nephron is the main organ to form a kidney and that kidney excreted a so many number of drugs and their metabolites another is a hepatic clearance and the organ clearance the hepatic some drugs are clear through the hepatic circulation already discussed in the previous slides and the another organ also clear the some drugs also to elimination the irreversible removal of the drugs from the body and by all the routes of elimination like excretion and the metabolism metabolism is mainly by the liver oxidation reduction hydrolysis and the conjugation the clearance as it is the loss of drug across the organ of the elimination that is called the clearance clearance means all the parties all the substances are clear or eliminate from the body that is called the clearance the clearance it is the defined as the hypothetical volume of the body fluid containing the drug from which drug is completely removed or cleaned completely in a specific period of time that means a total amount of the drug will be excreted or cleared in the specific time divided by pcm ultimately a rate of clearance will be given the hepatic clearance hepatic clearance that means the hepatic that means liver sometimes some components which is by the excreted by the liver that is called the hepatic clearance the, the hepatic and renal excretion ratio of some drugs are metabolized is a given a chart the hepatic excretion is case of high intermediate and low in case of hepatic clearance in case of high the propanolol which is the cardiovascular drugs lidocaine dinitroglycerin morphine internal intermediate aspirin codeine nortriptyline and quinidine and low diazepam phenobarbital and phenytoin and phenyl phen theophylline in case of renal excretion high in case of high some penicillin hippuric acid and several sulfates and in case of intermediates penicillin procainamide and simetridine and in case of low Prusamide, atenolol, and tetracycline. These are the drugs are excreted through the hepatic as well as the renal clearance, the organ clearance. It is the best way of the understanding the clearance is that the individual organ, and such a physiological approach is advantageous in thus predicting and evaluating the infidence pathology, blood flow, or the PD uh, protein binding drugs and the enzyme activity etc on or the drug elimination so other so many other so way you can estimate the what type of drug will be clear or not so at the organ level the rate of elimination can be written as the rate of elimination by the organ the rate of presentation of the organ minus rate of exit from the organ and rate of <coughs> representation the organ of the blood and blood or qc into divided by enteric concentration enteric concentration and rate of exit or organ blood flow into exiting 
constant exiting concentration you can calculate them the kinetic of the elimination the first order kinetic last first order kinetic and the zero order kinetics in case of absorption we can uh, discuss about the other what the zero order and the first order kinetic drug are eliminated in the substances just just like a when the drug is absorbed which type which is first order or the zero order when the concentration is increases they can it is called the first order kinetic but when this is not depend upon the concentration it is called the zero order six as uh, simultaneously the same type of when the drug or the metabolites are excreted in the different way when it is depend on the concentration it is first order when not depend upon the concentration it is called the zero order the so drug are elimination in the sub subtotal of the remove or metabolites inactivation and the excretion first order the rate of elimination directly proportional to the plasma concentration it is plasma directly when the directly plasma concentration and constant fraction of the drug reabsorption it is of the time being that is called the first order kinetic but the rate of elimination remain constant respectively to the drug concentration as for example ethyl alcohol and high dose of phenytoin in that case zero order kinetic if because there is no concentration it is constantly excreted but in case of other drugs they are the first order kinetic because if the concentration of the metabolite increases the higher will be the rate of excretion that's why it is called the first order kinetics of elimination the plasma half life it is the time taken of the plasma concentration to be reduced to the half of its original value or original concentration suppose your drugs will be taken 500 grams then after a time it will be 250 grams that time is equal to the plasma half life sub drug half life one in the t half equal to phi and or uh, simultaneously we can know it what the t half and the biological t half is totally different t half is a chemical component biological t half that and all other also that will differ from t half to biological t half first one t half that means one hour 50% to 75% three t half 87% 50 25 24 and 4 3 half ultimately all the drugs are will be almost the completely elimination of the drugs so we can see after 4 hour all the drugs are eliminated after metabolized form or in the intact form so half life of the some drugs like aspirin 4 hours then that means the drug concentration will be remain at the 4 hours in case of penicillin g 30 minutes digoxin 40 minutes doxycycline 24 hours 24 hours that's why you want a bd and that is this half life can help for the dose calculation of the drugs and importance of the plasma half life is to determine the frequency of the administered drug that means how many doses or how many drug at a day it will be depend upon the plasma concentration or half life of the drugs so thank you very much for listening your lecture for the elimination of the drug if any question please ask me i think all of you see it okay sir passive diffusion are we active ete ota okhane driving force chilo driving force mane eta driving force mane je force ta kaaj korche mane je dhoro arterial ar renal ड्राइंग मानसारिएट हो junction between the artery and the vein tar mane capillary je je force ta kaaj korche seta kai bola hocche driving force 
তারপরে কিছু ফিল্টারেশন হচ্ছে নালে কিন্তু কখনো ফিল্টার হবে না যদি डायरेक्टली একই সেম ফোর্স কাজ করতো যদি যদি প্রেসার ড্রপ না করতো তাহলে বা প্রেসার ডিফারেন্স না হতো তাহলে সেখানে কিন্তু কোনো রকম ভাবে ডাটা অ্যাবজর্পশন হতো না কারণ ফ্লো হতো ওয়াটার দিয়ে যেত আর ভেন দিয়ে ফিরে চলে আসতো যেহেতু ভেনের প্রেসারটা কম সেই জন্য কি হচ্ছে ওখানে একটা প্রেসার ক্রিয়েট করে যেমন যেমন তোমার ফিল্টারেশনের ক্ষেত্রে যদি ফিল্টারেশনের ক্ষেত্রে প্রেসার ইনক্রিজ করা যায় তাহলে কিন্তু मेटाबोलिट ड्रग फिल्टारेशन मीर सकिल आलि हेलो सोमनाथ क्यों কেন হয় কেন হয় মানে এটা হচ্ছে অ্যাসিডিক পেনিসিলিন হচ্ছে অ্যাসিডিক অ্যাসিডিক হচ্ছে অ্যাক্টিভে বেশি হবে আর বেসিক হলে তোমার গ্লোমেরুলার ফিল্টারেশন হয় অ্যাক্টিভে দেখো পেনিসিলিন হচ্ছে পেনিসিলানোইক অ্যাসিড পেনিসিলিন আর হয় আরেকটা ওর সঙ্গে ছিল স্যালিসাইলিক অ্যাসিড তাই তো পেনিসিলিন আর স্যালিসাইলিক অ্যাসিড এগুলো দুজনেই হচ্ছে অ্যাসিডিক ড্রাগ অ্যাসিডিকের ক্ষেত্রে অ্যাসিডিক মিডিয়াতে বেশি অ্যাক্টিভ সিক্রেশনটা বেশি হয় দ বেসিকটা বেসিক হয় তাহলে যেমন মরফিন হয় फिल्टेड हो ग्रिएशन हो ग डिजाइन जातेपोज डायरेक्टली फिल्टारेशन हो बेंडिंग 
and after that it will be reabsorbed next hello 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 ah. ड्रग सामचर not excreted in the kidney or through the urine in that case sometimes the hepatic mane liver to or liver through bile it will be excreted eta hoy kintu kichu kichu jinish ache some drugs which are not excreted through the urine but excreted in the bile and as well as the gi tract that is called the enterohepatic circulation hepatic circulation is only liver while enterohepatic means हेपाटिक अलंग उ जि आई ट्रैक मैं हेपाटिक बैलर मध्य जो पे अथवा जि आई ट्रैक दिए फिसेस संगे बेड़ी जाए दैट इज कल दिपाटिक सार्कुलेशन साम ड्रग्स उच आर नट एक्सक्रिएटेड डायरेक्टली थ्रु दूरिन हेलो जो कथा बोलो तक कैमेरा ऑन कर सब बोलो नेक्स्ट एनी क्वेश्चन ना हले इसका मतलब थक्स मंडे तब देखा जावे वो डे जो भी नेक्स्ट जो ये फेज टू मेटाबॉलाइज लेसे एक हेतु ना हमरा हम्म सर बोल चुका है ना एक टा लाइन है जो जो रिअब्सर्प्शन टा अपना हाफ लाइफ टा ड्रगर हाफ लाइफ इंक्रीज करते हेल्प करे सर उटा क्यों हवे करे हम्म हालो क्वेश्चन करे सर कैम ड्रग्रेशन प्लम कत पा 250 তাই তো 500 মিলিগ্রাম দেওয়া হলো 2 ঘন্টা পরে প্লাজমা কনসেন্ট্রেশন নেওয়া হবে কত পাওয়া যাবে 50 মি 50% আসতে যে সময়টা লাগবে তার মানে কি সেটাই তার টি হাফ তো কিন্তু বায়োলজি ওর সঙ্গে বলেছিলাম বায়োলজিক্যাল টি হাফ কিন্তু আলাদা এটা হচ্ছে এমনি নরমাল টি হাফ মানে কেমিক্যাল টি হাফ আর এটা হচ্ছে বায়োলজিক্যাল টি হাফ টোটালি डिफरेंट এখানে কিন্তু সেটা পরে আসবে এই টি হাফ যেটা বলছি তাহলে 500 মিলিগ্রাম ড্রাগ After two hours, two fifty milligram. That means T half. What? Two hours. Okay. Two hours. That means drug ta poncha, dusho poncha sote samay lagche. Two hunta. ठीक है चे? ठीक है चे? That means concentration what? That means same amount. Two fifty milligram. Hello. मिलीग्राम फाइव हलो चले ग हेलो एबारिपाल संगे देखा हलो बकाबकी करते आज चले गल 
তাহলে ফিফটি থেকে কি আবার বেড়ে যাবে এখানেও সেইরকম যখনই আবার রিঅবজর্পশন হবে তখন কনসেন্ট্রেশনটা আবার অর্ধেকের থেকে বেশি হয়ে যাচ্ছে क्लियर तो घुमाचन नहीं फार्मोकटिकारेटी শেষ করলে মোটামুটি ফার্মাকো কাইনেটিক কমপ্লিট হয়ে যাবে দেন উই ক্যান স্টার্ট দা ফার্মাকো ডাইনামিক মানে বেসিক্যালি দা এডিএমই তো এই ক্ষেত্রে আমি যেভাবে পড়ালাম এটা হিউজ ডিটেইলস আছে তোমাকে পড়তে হবে না শুধুমাত্র কাকে বলে কি কাজ করে এবং অনলি দা ফ্যাক্টরস এফেক্টিং দা এলিমিনেশন অ্যাবজর্পশন ডিস্ট্রিবিউশন মেটাবলিজম এন্ড এক্সক্রিয়েশন এন্ড দা एग्जांपल যে টার্ম গুলো বলবে সেটা শুধু एग्जांपल গুলো মনে রাখবে যেটা মুরগেসের বইয়ে রয়েছে দিস ইজ এনাফ ফর ইওর ডিপ্লোমা লেভেল বাট ফর দ্য ক্লিয়ার দ্য কনসেপ্ট কনসেপ্টটাকে ক্লিয়ার করার জন্য আমি এলাবোরেটলি আই ডিসকাস উইথ ইউ अदरवाइज দ্য ইনফরমেশন সো হিউজ জাস্ট ফর ইনফর্ম লেভেল বাট ইউ লার্ন ইউ রিমেম্বার এন্ড ফর আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড বেটার আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং আই ডিসকাস উইথ এলাবোরেটলি ফর বেটার আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং বাট ইউ ক্যান রিমেম্বার অনলি দ্য সারফেস অফ দ্য ফার্মাকোলজি জাস্ট suppose bioavailability define bioavailability what are the factors affecting the bioavailability and what type of drugs which are the bioavailability how the percentage of bioavailability sometimes or the apparent volume distribution eh, these are the terminology the common terms i think it will be uh, or mention in the question in your google classroom in the next class okay thank you ar question thakle bolo tatadi ro report padta ba ke बोलो मंडे क्लस any question regarding metabolism porecho ado ho yara porashonao kore na somnath ha sir bolun ta ki complete kore dei ha 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 thik ache